a bitch in the ecstasy. Okay, period. Some of y'all are a vision of ecstasy, honey. Yes, you are. You are a vision of ecstasy, sweetie. Okay, and there's somebody that is bothered by your energy. Okay. Okay, what's that uh that movie Transformer, the new one that came out? And he was like inner John. And you know, Bumblebee, okay, rose from the dead when he got that inner John. Okay. So some of you got that energy or that I should say that foreign inner John. Okay, type of energy is what I'm getting. And somebody is particularly okay, envious of that. So let me get rid of this thing on instant. But yeah, somebody here is particularly bothered by that. That inner John that you have, baby. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it, you guys. There's somebody. So, y'all need to be aware. This is either a warning or, you know, maybe you already went through this experience recently or what have you, okay? But somebody's going to come in to try to disturb you, to get a reaction out of you, to see how you're going to take it. Because somebody's so used to you being quiet to keep the peace or whatever like that. But there's going to be an opportunity or a moment, okay, for you guys to stand up and say something, okay? Spit that truth. Speak them facts. Okay, not opinions, but facts. Okay, but let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. How you guys doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Okay, thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tarot. This will be for my beautiful and my handsome kings and queens out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a gentle reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does resonate. So what doesn't leave it all out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be your girl. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So for some of you, somebody here is just like... Cry. I'm getting somebody has a real bratty ass energy. They act like a brat. Okay, but they are an adult, but they kind of have this bratty ass energy. They hitch spits. They, you know, they get triggered real quickly. They snap, you know what I'm saying, or whatever like that. They catch an attitude real quick or whatever like that. Somebody does not know how to hold their composure. Okay, is what I'm getting. Ooh, this is somebody here that whoever they pray to, I don't know who this bitch pray to or this dude pray to, but I'm getting a, a scene where they're like, ah. Fairy Godmother, Fairy Godmother, why is it not working out for me? Fairy Godmother, you promised me riches and gold and beauty and, you know, woo -woo -woo -woo. why is it not happening for me? Oh my gosh. Type of energy. Okay, is what I'm getting here. This person is definitely operating in their south node. Okay, and some of you, this person is crying over some type of news or a gift that you are receiving. This could be a gift of, of jewelry, okay, and a gift of jewelry or something of that nature. Or for some of y'all, it's a angelic supernatural gift for some of y'all. Okay, is what I'm getting here. All right, we got here foe. Okay, and then we got here room. So for some of y'all, this person is closer than you think. Like I said, for some of y'all, this could be a toxic ass family member of some, you know, for some of y'all or somebody that you used to hang out with every day, talk to every day, was close with, you know, girl, do this, girl, do that. Y'all doing the same, you do the root type of energy. Okay, it's what I'm getting. But you guys no longer are in that energy. You guys are grown. You guys have grown. Okay. Growth. I'm talking about mentally. Okay. Not in this bratty ass energy. This is somebody here that kind of gets carried. This is somebody here that play victim in order to gain in life. Okay. For some of y'all. And for some of y'all, this person could have used you as a pawn. Okay. To get certain things. They could have used your name off of, you know, clout or whatever like that to get certain things. For example, you're into spirituality. You're into tarot. This person could be like, oh, yeah, that person, they into tarot. They do rich crap on me. And, you know, this is why my life is the way that it is, you guys. And woo, 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 this, per, this, for example, for some of y'all, okay. But this person uses you as a pawn to get what they want. All right, this is somebody that is simply envious of your era, okay. That's what I'm getting here. All right, because your vision of ecstasy. When people look at you, they like, damn. People got to take a double look to look at you. Their double look, their double tag, okay. Is what I'm getting. Even when you bypass a stranger, that stranger was like, damn. They got some good energy. You feel me? Okay, you are always a vision in someone's thought. Mm. All right now. All right now is whoever you are, baby. But there's somebody here that is bothered by this energy. This person thinks that you're going to stay quiet if they try to say something to you. Somebody, you better, you know what I'm saying? This person listens very carefully to what you say so they can, you know, use an example out of what you say. So some of y'all, you better be prepared. Don't let nobody come in and punk your ass, okay? It's what I'm getting here. Some of y'all going to have to set the record straight with somebody. Because somebody used to you being quiet to keep the peace. But some of y'all realize when you 
get, you know, when you're quiet and you're trying to keep the peace and you don't say anything or whatever like that, that stirs up a war inside of you. Okay, but some of y'all, it's like, you're not even mad, but you're ready to go. Because this, this new version of you here, this person ain't going to be able to handle. Somebody was used to you being quiet. You see you being, you know, mm, you know, instead of whatever like that. But their energy, your energy have changed. Okay, you have grown mentally, physically, spiritually. Okay? All right? You out here taking care of your business. All right? You out here fooling these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers probably out here thinking you broke. Okay? Or whatever like that. Because it's just like, okay, no, motherfuckers don't need to know what you got going on, what's in your pockets. Okay? How you moving? Or whatever like that. You get what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers assume. That's all motherfuckers gonna do. And this is the type of person that does assume. Because they have nothing, you know what I'm saying, better to do. They ain't got no, they ain't got nothing on you. Is what I'm getting here. But this person here, they got some type of news though. That you're receiving something. Something supernatural. Or something, you know, in the 3D. Something that you can touch. Something that you can feel. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. They're realizing that. Yes, for some guy, it has to do with a ting of cups, maybe a relationship, okay? Or something is just, you're at peace right now. Everything is just working out for you. Okay, your life could be boring as fuck. You could have the day-to-day -day lifestyle, okay? What I'm saying? Do what you do, okay? Your chores around the house, okay? Run your motherfucking errands. Some of y'all could be on shopper sprees once a week, boo-boo, period, okay? You groom yourself or whatever like that, Just but you just got a routine, a simple routine, but somebody is envious of that because they don't have that. They can't maintain their routine because maybe, you know, since somebody may live pay that paycheck, it ain't nothing wrong with that until you, you know, get you a little side hustle and you keep working and working into that side hustle, turns out to be full time. You feel what I'm saying? For some of y'all, that's what you're doing. That's what you're about. Okay? But this person has no type of originality. They have no goal. They have no plan. They have no blueprint, but you do. Okay? All right, because you know why? Because some of you are chosen, all right? But somebody is upset. They're upset because we also have your wife and lover. So you could be a wife, okay? You have a lover here, or you don't have to be married, but you could have a lover for some of y'all, and you guys are planning your life together, okay? Like you and your person, y'all mate, you and your mate, whoever they are, y'all can have a, y'all can just be boring as fuck. Y'all do the day to day shit, you know, spend time together, cook, clean, woo woo woo, woo. okay, discuss what you gotta do, get done, whatever like that. Your future goals, future plan. But somebody doesn't have that, and it's maybe because this person is single, but ain't nothing wrong with being single, okay? People, people need to understand that too, okay? And a lot of chosen ones are not. Okay, going to be married. That is just a reality. Okay, a lot of chosen ones practice celibacy or what have you. All right, but I'm saying like everybody has different paths. But somebody in particular feels like you have, you are living the American dream, and this is what they want. This is they, what they aspire to be. But somebody, they feel like you got it before them, or you're getting it before them, or something of that nature. It's real petty because you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles in the Four of Wands. Stable, secured, okay, is what I'm getting here. Why they're in the Four of Cups energy, sitting in the window, okay, is what I'm getting, just feeling down about their life. Okay, they could have things. They could have a house. They could have a car. They could have a good job, but they're still not satisfied. But that's why they're not getting blessed because they're not grateful for what they got now. You always got to be grateful for what, you know, saying where you at in life. Cause so that God can bless you with more Okay If you can appreciate what you have Then you can handle more Period You get what I'm saying Is what I'm getting here But this is a sneaky bitch This is or dude Put it where it fits This motherfucker sneaky This is a motherfucker that will Look at your man When you When you not looking Okay Look at your man Or try to get your man's attention When you not paying attention Okay some of y'all already know you're not supposed to have your man around certain bitches. Okay? You already know that. He should already know that. All right? So, uh, that's not even a question. Because I bet you, even if he do see some sneaky shit, he probably like, damn, that bitch is raunchy. Okay? If you notice that your partner, for example, if your partner around here dogging somebody out in particular, okay? Or not even dogging them out. Because you got to know the difference. Because if a man keep talking about a particular bitch, that means he ain't over that hoe. Okay? He means he feels some type of way about that bitch. You got to check that. But I'm talking about a man here. You know, y'all been around for a while. Some of y'all wise, baby. Y'all wise, baby. Beyond your years. I don't care. You know, so what your age is. Age ain't nothing but a number. But anyway, if you got you a wise man, and say, for example, he don't bring up a bitch. But if you bring her up. And you try, you be like, hey, babe, because you know, if you you got your best friend, your man is your best friend. And let's be real, women, uh, well, people that get it, they get it. Women go talk to their man about certain shit. And their man going to sit there and listen and they're going to advise them. But if he has nothing positive to say about that particular person, that's a sign. That's a sign. Okay? Period. That's a sign. So.
So, ooh. I don't like this bitch's energy. I don't like that. I don't like that. Because somebody is very sneaky. She the type of person that will... This is like a homeworker type of energy. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, she the type that'll sleep with somebody's partner and then have them break up. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, this is a friend or somebody that was once in your circle with the Three of Cups energy. Okay, is what I'm getting. But this bitch think that you're... you're very sweet and you are you coming up as a sweetheart here okay and also very faithful okay for some of y'all all right some of y'all could be pregnant this could be the news that somebody's hearing about maybe you're getting gifted a child okay maybe some of you have been struggling to have a child if you're if you're older in age you don't want kids you already had your kids this this part ain't for you baby but i'm saying for some of y'all it's like you're gifted and gifted a baby okay is what i'm getting here okay oh and this baby is very very special Okay, damn. Ooh wee. Okay, oh, it might be a baby girl for some of y'all. Or a little boy. I'm getting some of y'all can have a child now. You can have a son here. He could be the oldest. And you might have a baby girl. But some of you are about to be gifted something. It's just like somebody here just feels like you get so many divine blessings. Okay, and it just really disturbed this individual. But this bitch is sneaky. Okay, this is the type of bitch that, for example... Okay, for example, first I can I can use this for an example. For some of y'all, I was around a particular family member. I knew the bitch was fake, but you know, said so my kids wanted to play with her kids, and I was just like, damn, I did not want to go. You know, saying so when you got technology and everything like that, these kids know how to use the phone call or whatever like that, but they're innocent, so you know, whatever. So I just let them play or whatever. But I don't trust bitches, so I tagged along, right? And you know, um, she got a phone call from another family member. And that, and then, like, the girl was like, I'm not even going to answer that call. Okay, yeah, it was like, well, why you couldn't answer the call? Okay, because it's like, them, that bitch fake, too. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, peep, you got to peep game. Like, motherfuckers don't want to talk to that person while they're around somebody because they would be considered fake to that other person because they're around that per, you know, around you or whatever like that. So, you got to pin fucking point that type of, that type of shit. So, so y'all could be going through that type of scenario where a bitch is really fucking fake. She talks about you behind your back here. Like I said, somebody's in a bratty ass energy. They're in a grown ass adult, but they're a brat. This is what I'm getting here. Okay, yeah. We got the death card, Scorpio energy, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, nine of swords. Yeah, this bitch is all up in her head okay because she feels like you are a fairy goddess or something okay honey she thinks she's talking to an imaginary fairy goddess baby uh, <laughs> whoever this feminine energy is okay but for some of y'all it's like you have resurrected you have a rebirth you have you know what i'm saying oh is what i'm getting here you're shining bright like a diamond baby you're a vision of ecstasy. When people think about you, they think about good thoughts, positive thoughts. Okay, they feel like they're healing. Okay, is what I'm getting here. So you you may even uh, catch a bitch want to touch you or something like that or just put her, her hand on you. She's trying to transfer energy. Some of y'all, ooh, I remember a bitch did that. I'm so damn bold, y'all. I was like, mm -mm, let me touch you back, bitch. Trans, uh, transfer that energy back to the sender. Uh-uh. She was like, uh? I said, yeah. The fuck? Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> so some of y'all, so some of y'all, y'all can be in that bold ass energy. I'm getting like somebody's really trying to be funny. Okay, this is somebody here that been in your home that you invited in your home or something of that nature. Okay, some of y'all, y'all be careful who y'all invite in your home because the bitches can leave bad spirits and bad energy. Okay, or whatever like that. Save your house every fucking time. I don't give a damn if you got a case and you dealing with a lawyer and he come over to your house. I don't give a damn. Okay, he got good. Hey, just still, you know what I'm saying. Spray your sage or whatever like that, okay? Light your sage up spray because they got them spray bottles now, okay? Or light you a candle that has sage in it or a white candle, period. Don't play with it, okay? Protect your house, okay? Thy home shall be protected in this thing, okay? Is what I'm getting here. Somebody, I'm getting for some of, some of y'all too. Somebody could have woke up with a headache or something was going on with somebody's nostrils. You felt like you couldn't breathe or something like that. Oh, yeah. We got the sun card. So, for some of y'all, it's like you definitely are stepping back into your power. Wow. And also, your relationship. I'm telling you, somebody's jealous of some type of relationship that you have with somebody. A union that's coming together. A union that's approved by the, you know, saying your ancestors here. Okay? Mm. <clears throat> mm, mm. 
and the you know what is bomb, okay? Woo, you set somebody on fire, baby, is what I'm getting here. Ooh, and we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so your ancestors approve of this. Their ancestors does, too, is what I'm getting here. For some of y'all, ooh, you guys are going to spend many seasons together. This is not something that's temporary, okay? Because we got every season here, okay? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Every season in here is on the table. So this is somebody here that you're definitely going to spend seasons with, okay? Years with for some of y'all, okay? And I'm getting there. Whoever this individual is, they are so fucking bothered by this with the Nine of Swords, Okay? This bitch's energy is being sent right back to her. Look at her ass. She is the type of person that really hitches a bit. Okay, like I said, she acts like a bratty child, whoever this individual is. But the, yeah, this person is so jealous of a commitment or a supernatural gift that you may have. This person, they can pray all fucking day. This is a assorted of feminine energy, okay? She's coming out in reverse. So this person could definitely be a mother figure, okay, for some of y'all. Okay, yeah. yeah, look at her ass, watching your ass with a telescope and shit, okay, like this bitch is real nosy, alright, some of y'all definitely could be pregnant, like somebody is, please protect your wound, okay, for whoever you are, because somebody's jealous of your baby, okay, of your unborn child, even if you haven't gotten pregnant yet and you're thinking about getting pregnant or your person want to, you know, saying wipe you up, baby you up or whatever, it's like this person here is, oh, don't even invite this person to your wedding because this bitch is going to make some type of an excuse or, you know, she's going to be acting really crazy and strange. It's going to be obvious. This is somebody that likes to create some type of a scene. Like I said, this is a bratty ass bitch. If the attention is not on her and some of you got this life or what have you because you manifested, you ain't trying to get no attention. This is what you wanted, okay? Yeah, but you are a healer. You are chosen for some of y'all, all right? Yeah, this bitch is tripping, okay? But some of y'all need to protect y'all wound here, honey, okay? We got the moon card because, yeah, this bitch is definitely doing some shit underneath the moon cycles and phases, okay? Yeah, we got here the... Uh, so some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the cancer, double cancer. It, ooh, love. Uh, Oh, so what else, Spirit? Mm. Yeah, about the Six of Pentacles. About you giving and receiving with somebody. About your kids being taken care of or fed or something like that. Yeah, damn, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is jealous of the fact that how you take care of your children. Okay, and how you have an upstanding, faithful man that is definitely by your side here. Okay, that adores you, adores your children, take care of you and your kids. Is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Ooh, somebody's so jealous of this shit. Let me see here. Somebody's bothered. Yeah, so we have here the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Somebody wants you to be quiet about something. Ooh. Some of y'all could have been holding. Let me say this. Some of y'all could have been holding back. Okay, from your person. So this is what I'm getting is I'm getting into you and your person's relationship for some of y'all. Okay, you definitely have a healthy relationship is what I'm getting here. But you know, like I said, everybody go through their day to day shit. Ain't everything every day ain't perfect or what have you. But some of y'all, your person has been trying to, you know, you know, be affectionate with you or whatever like that. But I see you kind of holding back. You kind of blocking this person a little bit for some of y'all. But I do see that. I don't know. This person is going to do something, offer you something. Okay. And it's going to lead into, you know what, is what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, ooh. Okay, yeah, this is why some of y'all feel like something was stagnant, maybe in a relationship or what have you. It's like y'all ain't going nowhere. Neither one of y'all going nowhere, but it just been feeling like the energy is a little bit stagnant. There's a block or there's some type, you know, something going on. It's because somebody here on the outside, I'm getting this feminine energy or it could be a masculine energy that is lighting a red candle. Okay, thinking about y'all. Ooh. Is what I'm getting. Somebody here's thinking about being with you. This is the outside party. Okay, is what I'm getting here. This is the third party. Okay? It's like you and your person is just like making sweet, good love. Okay? And it's like this other person is is trying to go against that. They're trying to stop you guys from being intimate. Okay? Stop you guys from, you know, exploring each other. Is what I'm getting here. Wow. 
Oh, yeah, because like I said, somebody had, oh, I can't show that. Ooh, 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 ooh. But um, somebody here that coming out as the king of cups, somebody's in love with you. Somebody definitely adores you here. This is a masculine, though, that is very confident within himself. Okay, he sees himself as a king. Okay, he don't see nothing less than, you know, saying what he is. Okay, he definitely, high, uh, like, how can I say that? Has himself in high regards. Okay, and he chose you. He chose your innocence, your purity, your, you know, sin or whatever like that. Okay, my karmic feminines out there, baby, don't be trying to, you know, say, play innocent to get a, you know, capture a man's heart, baby. Okay, because a man knows. I don't give a damn what nobody says, especially the bind masculine. They be knowing when they see a good thing, somebody that's pure at heart, somebody that is faithful, because whoever you are, you coming out as faithful. Okay, and this masculine here wants to have a family with you. He wants to put a baby up in you, boo. Type of energy is what I'm getting here. Okay, this this man simply adore you. He know you ain't perfect. Oh, I'm telling you, some of y'all, you definitely got earth in your chart. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles came out twice in two different decks, baby. Okay. But yes, yeah, somebody's like you're a vision of ecstasy to this masculine. Okay, especially ooh, with the justice card, baby. Libra energy. Somebody just feels like when you're around, you make it all right. Period. Okay, ace of cups, yes. Oh my gosh, you feel the same way too, whoever you are. You didn't understand what this blockage was, what, but or maybe you do, or maybe you knew, okay? That's what I'm getting here, but you know things are going to balance out. You know whatever this energy is, it's going to come to pass, period, okay? is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm telling you, because whoever you are with, they're going to continue to pursue you, continue to, you know, sweep you off your feet, continue to show you how much they value, value you and appreciate you, okay? is what I'm getting. This person is the type of person that makes you feel on top of the world, okay? When you get in your moods, especially that time of the month, your man going to be like, baby, you just you just acting like that because you're going through that time of the month. Okay, I know what's going on, baby. Okay, what you need, baby, what you want. Okay, let me take off them shoes. You had a long day at work. Let me rub them feet type of energy, okay? Oh, yes. But there's somebody else that does not want you to be freed, okay? Somebody is upset because somebody gets to have your angelic energy, your angelic presence, your angelic touch because that's what they want, Okay? Damn, you got groupies, honey. You got people here that once they get around your energy, they get addicted to that shit. Okay? And it's hard, you know what I'm saying, to get away from it. So somebody either try to play in your energy, in your era, okay, or be just like you, whoever this brat is, brat is, okay, or you got other, you know, exes here that just don't want to let you go. Okay, they jealous of the next. Okay, because the next values you. All right, they know that somebody's going to come along and treat you with respect and love and kind because of the woman that you are and how you carry yourself regardless. Okay, you're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve. So men know that even if they, they try to dog you out. Okay, that's why the men try to hold on to you because some women be like, why men know they're doing me wrong but they can't let me go. They don't want to do right because they know you're a good-ass woman. They know if you know, saying you were to get away from them, they know for a fact somebody going to treat you better. Okay, they know that. Okay, but somebody wanna cater to you Cause baby, this is your day Do anything for my man You know me, you know me Okay, oh girl, whatever Alright, type of energy Somebody wanna cater to you, boo Okay, oh yeah, there's a king of wands Here he go They king of wands They're selfish about you Mm. They don't want to let you go with the six of them swords in reverse. The, the center right here, lighting this red candle. This could be a, a love spell or some type of um controlling, domineering spell. Okay? To control this feminine energy is what I'm getting here. Okay? But he messing with a damn what? Chosen one. Okay? Divine being here. Period. He messing with this person. You're not going to allow this person to invade in your space. See, some of y'all, it's not, it's not actually you're just, you know, sticking up for yourself against these bullies in the 3D, but you're also doing this spiritually, okay? You're slaying these motherfucking demons, okay, is what I'm getting here, I right? You're looking these demons in the face spiritually and, you know, physically like you. They better stop fucking with you is what I'm getting. These people thought that you was going to continue to allow them to bully you spiritually and mentally and physically. But no, baby, you're not going for that shit anymore. Okay? You're sticking up for your motherfucking self. And you got these people in the Five of Swords energy and the Five of Cups energy like, oh my gosh. Da-da-da-da-da. Pissed off. Okay? 
is what I'm getting here. Yeah, somebody getting the message and it's tearing their ass up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, because we got a masculine energy. So so the so the ties is connecting. There's a masculine, it could be an ex, and there's somebody that you know. Okay. That is deceptive. That you used to fuck with, but you don't really fuck with that bitch no more. Okay, this this individual here was working with this person. Okay, they was trying to uh, cause an ending or a death to a wedding or a relationship. Okay, a celebration here. All right, but now these bitches in uh, what you call the melancholy energy. Okay, feeling sick, depressed. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, this bitch is false as fuck. Whoever this hoe is. Okay. She been doing this to a lot of people as well. And also this masculine trying to steal something from you. Okay, take something from you is what I'm getting. So for some of y'all, you got this. This has to do with past life energy. Okay, past people that you dealt with in a past life that tried to come into this lifetime to take you down. Because there's no reason why these motherfuckers on you like this. Okay, this, motherf this motherfucker is a hound dog. This masculine energy and this other bitch is a trick. Okay, is what I'm getting here. That's what they are, okay? But shit ain't sweet no more. These people know for a fact that they can't fuck with you no more, okay? That's why they do something every... For some of y'all, they do this shit every single day. Light candles on your ass and... I'm getting a motherfucking voodoo doll, too. These bitches be getting voodoo dolls, pricking your head, trying to make you get a headache. Or some of y'all, you waking up with a headache or whatever like that. You ain't go to bed with a headache. So how the fuck you waking up with a headache? You gotta, you gotta pay attention to that shit. Okay, you got to pay attention to that shit. Because somebody over here, you know, sending some type of negative energy towards you or astral projecting. And trying to astral projecting your energy is what I'm getting here. Okay, all due to uh, some type of gift, a supernatural gift. Okay, or some type of uh, gift in the uh, physical is what I'm getting here. Oh, yeah, so check this spoke. Okay, that you once was close with. Because this bitch is the one that's coming out. She keeps coming out in these fucking readings as well. Whoever this chick is, okay, and this masculine that don't want to let you go, okay. Ooh. Some of you could definitely have a spiritual spouse, okay, somebody that you know claims you, all right. So, ooh, I don't gotta explain that. Some of y'all need to look that up. You need to look that up, baby. But we got here joyfulness, but don't even worry about it, baby, because you're faithful to spirit and to yourself. So, some of you will be getting the last laugh in the situation. Like I said, somebody already got the news that they cannot play with you, okay? That you're not going to sit around here and just take and take and take and take and take, okay? They're bullying or whatever it may be, all right? Yeah, you may be innocent. You may be, you know, saying in the lighter side of divination and everything of that nature. But when you see some of y'all, it's like you don't like confrontation. Because maybe you're very sensitive, okay? Maybe it overstimulates you. Maybe you're very autistic. You don't like a lot of noise and, you know, or whatever like that. So it kind of disturbs your peace and you just like to run instead of, you know, directing that situation head on. But some of you have grown so much to the point you are so emotionally intelligent, okay? Is what I'm getting here. All right, so these people cannot come at you the way they used to come at you. If anybody coming at you with a slick ass comment, you got ten other comments or ten other blows at this bitch. This bitch like, oh, 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 and then you are gonna catch these people trying to get back along with you, or I was just playing, <laughs> or whatever like that. They gonna be in that energy, okay? Because they know they can't fuck with you like that no more. Is what I'm getting. They can't take the heat no more, okay? They running out the kitchen. Is what I'm getting, okay? Pure point blank. These motherfuckers better stop playing with you. Because every time they keep coming at you with these attacks, you keep ascending. They ain't doing nothing but helping your ass at the end of the day. Okay? But you ain't doing, you don't give a fuck, you don't bother. You're going to let these people be in that motherfucking energy. Okay? Period. Be in that hateful ass energy. Pure point blank. Okay? We got here, ooh, peasant. Perseverance, excuse me. It says you may feel like you are getting nowhere, but you you but there are wonderful things that's coming or changes ahead. Don't give up. Oh, okay. So some of y'all was definitely in that energy. Don't give up, honey. Okay. We got here love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So some of y'all, I'm telling y'all, somebody sending you, sending you negative energy, okay, towards your relationship. This is a feminine energy, a bratty energy, and a masculine, a scorned lover, okay, that's obsessed with you. So just be careful of that. So any type, you catch yourself arguing with your person, or you catch yourself wanting to snap or getting irritated, it's like. 
think quick, okay? Do not trip out. Do not, you know what I'm saying, you know, get out of character, what have you. Just understand where this person coming from. Just a, just having that understanding that somebody's sending y'all negative energy. This is what they want y'all to do. They want you to argue, to pretend, or whatever like that. Just having that understanding, you should already just brush that shit off. Just brush it off, okay? You should already know to do that, all right? What else, spirit? Oh, we got here opportunities. Okay, it says a stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times, a plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. Mm. Let me get that. Let me get something on. Oh, we also got here commitment, but let me get something on opportunity. Okay, we got commitment. A commitment is indicated exactly. You ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Period. Okay, it says around love or business, it will make you feel better. I'm telling you, the person. <laughs> They're going to make you feel good at the end of the day, baby. Period, point blank. So don't even worry about whatever this is. Period. But let me see what this opportunity is. Didn't I say in the beginning of the reading, somebody is going to try to come in and try to bully you. And try to handle you that they used, the way they used to handle you. Okay? And this ain't nothing but a test. God is going to allow this to happen to see how you're going to handle it. Okay? So let's see. What's opportunity? Yeah, I, I can't make it up. Eight of Wands. Some type of communication. Okay? Some type of communication is coming in to test you. And it's how you're going to handle that communication. Okay? Pure point blank. And this could be somebody saying, you're a narcissist. Or you, you're just you just playing a role. You're, you're just this and this and this and this. And I'm a narcissist. How can you define me as a narcissist when I want to be by myself so I can have peace? So I have to deal with drama and fake ass people in my face such as yourself. Okay? All up in my ear and all up in my business, baby. I maintain my peace. Now, if that's what you call a narcissist, then, baby, I be that narcissist. Okay? All right? But you don't want me to get on you, baby, because you are a fake as fuck. You having a conversation amongst a lot of people. Okay? I know the way that you rumble off about this person and that person and this person. And the, even the way that you rumble, uh, rumble about your own business. I know you're going to tell my business. So, therefore... I don't give you any information, and never will I ever give you information. So you can go around, or, you know, saying, get people that, tell people that, that I ain't playing about that, about my business, my privacy, okay? And all you fake motherfuckers can go to hell, okay? And have a good day. Bless you. Goodbye. Type of energy. <laughs> Some of y'all up in, okay? Don't, so you're going to be like, don't be coming to me with opinions, boo. Come, with, come to me with facts. Okay, come to me with a fat boo. I'm telling y'all, y'all better be careful because people about to try to try it. Nine of Pentacles, that's what I'm getting here. Because at the end of the day, you could really shut somebody down. Their whole ego, okay, is what I'm getting here when it comes to your independence. All right, because you are, you have, you have built something from the ground up. Okay, you have worked hard to get where you at. You didn't have to act like a brat. You didn't have to, you know, for example, whoever that bratty person was, it's like, like I said, this person uses your name for cloud. They talk about you. If anybody in the family know anything about your life, it's because of this person, their assumptions and their jealousy. Okay, they may fabricate lies and all of that type of shit. Okay, is what I'm getting here. All right, but people see the real. Okay, they can act like they don't see what you got going on, but they see it. But you don't give a fuck because you don't need these people's approval. This person, if this is a family member, they need the approval of others. Okay, you don't need that. Okay? All right? Just because y'all, some of y'all do something different than everybody else. Okay, this person expect you to be struggling or working a nine to five, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, but I'm just saying, some of y'all, the chosen ones, some of y'all could be speakers. Y'all could, y'all, you know, saying, I don't know, build something, create something, maybe a herbalist or anything of that nature. Okay, y'all do something out of the norm, society norm here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And this person is jealous of that. They feel like your life was easy or it came easy or whatever like that. All right. Is what I'm getting, but this is the type of person that get carried throughout their life. All right, you don't have to do that, but you can really shut a bitch down. Like, baby, didn't you need grandpa, grandma, mama, daddy, okay, and brother to help you pay your bill last month? I don't remember, you know, remember or recalling having to ask anybody for a damn thing. Not that you're downing anybody, but somebody kind of came at you and said something about what it is that you do, you know, in your life, in your life. Or they could have been like, oh, well, you just got a man that's taking care of you or whatever like that. Oh, and even if you do got a man to take care of you, so the fuck what? That man just want to take care of you, okay? But some of y'all, y'all do your own shit. Y'all don't just wait around for your nigga paycheck. You feel me? You do your own shit. You feel me? But at the end of the day, 
you know, somebody they be trying to come at you. Okay, however they gonna try to come at you, whatever. I was just giving examples. You feel me? <laughs> But type of energy. So yeah, there's going to be a, a type, some type of opportunity that's going to come, and it's going to be a test. God is going to allow the test to come in to see how you're going to handle that shit. Okay? Don't get crazy. Don't get wild. Okay? It's what I'm getting here. Don't get crazy or don't get wild. All right? Just simply state facts. Okay? Ooh, that's why that. You know, say for example, you got into an argument in front of somebody. Okay, and they witnessed that argument and they went back and told everybody or whatever like that. But these people are gonna be looking stupid because you and your person got back along or it's just little simple shit like that for some of y'all, okay, for an example. All right, but there's somebody here that's going to try to, you know, just make up anything, have any excuse to try to get underneath your skin. So just be prepared. All right, pure point blank. Mm. Just be prepared. But I think I'm going to answer right there, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Oh, yeah, we got here a surprise. I'm telling y'all, it says a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. And then an invitation could bring, you know, love to those searching. Okay, so some of y'all got a good surprise coming in. And others of y'all, there's going to be something that may disappoint you. And it may be the situation. You're going to see shit for what it really is. But I see you sticking up for your motherfucking self, period. All right. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.